If you're watching this and you're responsible, today may be your day. It might be tomorrow, but I can guarantee you, your day's coming. Those words on the one year anniversary of the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, they gave us all chills. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter speaking directly to the murderer. He believed could even be watching that very news conference four years ago. Now that man arrested, Richard Allen, accused of killing the two eighth grade girls. He was living in Delphi before, during, and after that day. Superintendent Carter here now on the red couch. I want to start with taking us to the day when you knew you had the evidence and you mm. could actually not announce it, but that you could make the arrest. Yep. What was that day well, like? First of all, thank you for welcoming me here. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was surreal and I, I was uh, not for us. I was so excited about the family to be able to talk with the family and to, and, and to the community. And maybe, mm -hmm. even, maybe now this is gonna start that process of healing. That would be my hope. Yeah. Congratulations. I knew that, um, you know, many of us thought that you would retire, you know, at a certain time. And then we knew that you probably wouldn't um, because of how important this case was. I mean, every case is important. It is. Um, and I know that because I know you. But can you dive into that, um, this community, was rocked. The country was in a different way, perhaps, because mm -hmm. of the innocence of, of two eighth graders. I've said all along, it's every, every town USA. Yeah. And I think that's the dynamic of how this has grown and how it's gained such momentum, Angela. Mm -hmm. um, but to, to, see it, to see it now and to see maybe that community that's mm -hmm. become so special to me and to all of us mm -hmm. um, start that process of getting back to some semblance of, normalty, of normalcy. It, 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 um, it warmed my heart, mm -hmm. quite frankly. You work so closely with your team, um, all of the, the state um, troopers, the, the detectives, the, the, the prosecutor's office, the U.S. Marshals, the Sheriff's Department. When it came to saying, okay, now we have this, we know this is going to get out, how, how do we do it? And we are only going to say his name and we're going to give the mugshot. Right. How, how does that discussion look? Is it an easy yeah. discussion? Do you debate it? How does that even come yeah. together? Well, the d debate's good for everything, Absolutely. right? So there's a lot of, there, was a, there certainly was a lot of debate with, with strategy throughout this entire yeah. process. But the, I, I felt enormous responsibility, mm -hmm. but not near the responsibility that those frontline detectives felt. Mm -hmm. So my job was to support them in everything that they did, not question them, mm -hmm. but to support them. Yeah. And, and I, I, I hope that I did that. Um, I, I know I did it to the best of my ability. The strategy with release, mm -hmm. um, we've always realized the best way through trouble is right up the middle. Mm. So um, we're going to do what we always think is right. Mm. Not necessarily what people want to hear, mm -hmm. but we're, gonna, we're going to do what, what we believe is right. And gosh, we look back on our whole lifetime and yeah. we have dang, I wish I'd have done that differently, but yeah. I don't think I was doing it knowing it was wrong. So yeah, yeah. It's been, that, that's what we did. Yeah. Probable cause. Um, this has become, wow, this really blew up actually on my Facebook page. I was surprised that I have like a thousand people and about half of them are angry. It is very, it is very rare that a probable cause would be sealed right. and we wouldn't have even something that showed a little information, redacted everything, but something just said, we have evidence here. Here's how this looks. To have it all under seal, very rare. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually a little surprised that people were um, upset at us that we would at least request that the judge look at it and say, okay, is this really how this should be mm -hmm. and it should be under seal? You understand that that is our job and you would, I'm guessing, expect us to I would. request that. I, I would and I do. I, um, you know, I, I think that, that you guys do a really good job of, of maintaining that stability in the middle someplace. Yeah. And uh, th th this is rather unusual. Yeah. But it's not going to be forever. Yeah. This is very complex, and just since, um, what, less than 48 hours ago, we have over 200 new additional tips. So uh, we've, still got some, we've still got a lot of work to do, but I'm proud of where we are. Can you characterize any of those tips, if you could say, well, it's kind of what we have gotten, or like, whoa, we've gotten something. I mean, I know you can't talk specifics. No, I'll say, that every, yeah. I'll say to, you, to, to, the, to, to everybody yeah. watching this morning, every one of those matter. Every single one of them matters. So if you think it's a little bit unusual, let us tell us. Let mm -hmm. us figure that out. 
Now, we're not always going to tell you what we know yeah. uh, um, until the time is right. We'll never tell you what we think. Mm -mm. So that's kind of where this is right now. Well, you know, I mean, I, I want to ask you a thousand questions, but I know that we have, an, you know, we have a relationship, and I know not to step over that because I do respect you. I trust you. I know you've worked hard. You were a man of character when you said we have an arrest. We will let everyone know. You were a man of your integrity. You, you, you gave us that, and we appreciate that, and we've always enjoyed working with you. I'm and we congratulate uh, you. Well, and I, I, you know, the congratulations, congratulations are, you know, kind of a side note to all this. But, I but it's important. It is. I appreciate that. It really goes to the people that have done all this work. It's been just an, just an amazing experience of, of humility and of, of partnerships with the Sheriff's Office and the City PD and all of our federal partnerships. And that's cliche sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's, gosh, yeah. it's so real now. It's so real now, and, and we're not done yet. No, and especially when you look at I mean, it's my daughters are the, they would have been my daughter's age. They should be in college. Yeah. And it's disgusting. And it's sad. It so is. I think for us to be able to, as a community, be able to say um, that hopefully someone will be held accountable is important. So sure thank you. Sure is. We are going to take a break and we'll be right back.